Sing it. So, Santa Baby. Sorry, should I say that in front of Santa? Santa's here, everybody. We have a very special guest. Obviously, the most famous person I've ever interviewed in the entire world. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. We've already discussed who's been naughty or nice in this studio, but maybe we'll go around again. Nick wasn't paying attention, I don't think. Uh, the consensus is I have been nice. Lauren has been nice. Sean has been nice. Yeah. Nick has been nice. So that's why Santa came to visit, I think. Yeah. Right? It is delightful to see all of you. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, we're talking about Santa Claus. But this Santa Claus is special because he is at the Grove year in, year out, every year. And everyone gets to sit on his lap, tell him what he wants. Tell them, well, they tell Santa what they want for Christmas. And I know you've had uh, a zillion experiences. I've been there last year. My, my fiance, Kevin, and I went to the Grove to uh, take a photo. We wanted to take a photo with all the dogs, our kids. And of course, that was the one day it was pouring rain. <laughs> <laughs> so we're hustling in there with umbrellas and we're rushing through to get pictures. And um, I, I probably will repost it as a flashback tomorrow because it's just so cute um with all the babies and and santa you remembered us it was delightful to see you Aww. your puppy dogs are very very nice thank very, very you sweet. they're my everything santa <laughs> and they're cuddly they are and they match my suit also they do Did if you, you ever need little helpers really uh, yeah well you winnie would, would be the best him? i would let you borrow winnie because she would be the best okay yeah. Well, that's that's very, very generous of you. Yeah, Benny could pee on you. Baby could oh, pee on you. I don't well. want that. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. <laughs> the no. other ones can be naughty. They're nice overall, but they can be naughty. Winnie would be a good girl. Well, look at her with the little red scarf. She matches my colors. Oh, you would have thought we had a little conversation that morning and compared color combos. I know. They're delightful. My chickies. Santa, you've been doing this for how long? Oh, we had years and years. Now, I've been at the Grove 15 years. Uh -huh. They thought it'd be very nice if I could make a special visit there, see all the people in Los Angeles. You know how people in Los Angeles, they don't like cold weather. Mm -hmm. They never come to the North Pole to visit me. This is a good point. So, I've never been to the North Pole, see? and I love you, Santa. Yes. I, I would make the trek, but I've never made it out there either. Oh, That'd be nice. I'm but scared of freezing. That's the thing. So <laughs> they asked, would I make a special consideration, come to this nice, warm Southern California climate, mm -hmm. visit with people at the Grove. They even built me a house there. Yeah, you know, I've I have my seen own it. It's house there. amazing. And you need to come by this year. The L's, they've been watching these Fixer Upper home remodel shows. Uh huh. My house has been remodeled. Really? The L's went in and poof. Magic. Wow. You got to come see me again. Do you have a, a different throne, or is it the same throne? It's the same throne. Okay. I have a new fireplace. You know, just to remind people that you know the North Pole can get a little bit chilly. Mm -hmm. We have all new decor inside, new floor. You know, the elves had a good time. They went for it. Yeah. You know, That's they were so inspired. cool. How's Mrs. Claus? You know, Mrs. Claus. This is our busy season. Yeah. She not only takes care of me, yes, sir. but since I'm visiting in Los Angeles, she has to make sure the elves are on time, mm -hmm. that all of the gifts are put together and that's laid perfectly, yeah. because it's really important how it's packed. Dallas. And she updates me on weather conditions, because weather is my, my one fun thing on Christmas Eve night, you know, about Rudolph and the nose. So, I love Rudolph. It do, not kind of mean to Rudolph. <laughs> What's Rudolph up with was that, Santa, bullied. Right? Rudolph was bullied. We yes, do Rudolph, have a problem here. Yeah. You're right, Rudolph, Sean. I'm yes. glad you asked. You know, some of the other reindeers were a little bit naughty to Rudolph because he didn't look quite like they did. He, you know, he has that little bright red nose. Yeah. But as soon as he saved Christmas that one evening, because it was so foggy, I couldn't, I couldn't see my hand in front of my face. And I asked Rudolph, I said, "Would you be willing to lead the sleigh that night?" He saved Christmas for everybody in the whole world that year. And all the other reindeers realized his special qualities. He, he doesn't look like them exactly, but his special talents, they saved the day. So now Rudolph has this little special niche all into himself. I love Rudolph. Santa, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Oh, my. There's there's three. Okay. That's I fair. I don't know if you remember White Christmas. Okay. <coughs> Bing Crosby. Bing Crosby, yep. yeah. You know, the 
Oh, that was magical. We to haven't me. watched that in a long time. We have our like annual rotation of many, okay. many that we love. Like it's a Wonderful Life. Mm-hmm. Santa Claus is coming yes. to town. And Rudolph then with Jimmy Stewart. Yeah, his movie. You know that was that was suspenseful. That was wonderful. Oh, uh, Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. Oh yeah. Did you remember that one? Of course, of course. Oh, with Natalie Woods Little and Natalie everybody. Wood, yep. Yeah. That 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 touches people still. They they watch it to this day. Mm-hmm. Now another one was Tim Allen's very first Christmas movie. Do you remember that? What Santa was it Claus? called? Oh. Uh, uh, everybody talks about this. I've not yes. seen it in a long time. Maybe I never even saw it. I can't remember, to be honest, at this point. But people talk about it all the time. There was a secret in there. If you recall, you might want to relook it. Okay. Uh, he and his son heard this noise out on the roof. They went outside to see, what, what could it possibly be? Well, Santa was on the roof. They so surprised Santa, he slid down the roof, and poof, there's just a suit on the snow. And Tim opened up the suit, and there's a little tag. It says, if you put on the suit, you will become Santa. There's a secret in that. So you notice I have on Santa's suit. Mm-hmm. And there's a magic that comes with it. Mm-hmm. Every, every day when I put it on and I go there to the grove, magic comes in with the suit. And so there's all these little wonderful things that happen through the day. Like what? They always surprise me. I, you, know, you know I see thousands of children yeah. every season. And with children, you never know what might be said or what might occur. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking about some that, that just kind of come to mind. This little boy, I'm going to say he's maybe five or six years old. He was walking very, very slowly up, and he, his head was down a little bit. He clowns on my lap. He says, Santa, I have to tell you, I'm on the naughty list. And I know that Aww. I might not get any presents this year. And he's kind of looking down a little bit. And he said, now, Santa, if I can be nice till Christmas, <laughs> if, if I could do that, would you bring me some Legos and a Transformer? <laughs> you know, and he was still kind of looking up sideways. He, he wasn't quite certain. And I reminded him that the way to go from the naughty list to the nice list is when you realize you're having a bad day, which we all do. Mm-hmm. And when you realize that, just remember to say, I'm sorry. I said, that'll take you to the nice list, and I'll make sure you get the Legos and the Transformer. Well, he he just brightened up. Aww. You know, and to have to confess to Santa right off that you're on the naughty list. I know. You know, most children are kind of hopeful, you know, that I don't know what they've done that mm-hmm. day. He was delightful. He, he just totally confessed it right off the bat. Another little girl, she's about four years old. She was adorable. And she insisted that her mother stop at a flower stop on the way to the Santa house. And she bought me this pink rose. Because she wanted to give Santa a gift. <gasps> I love now, her. Now, oh my th- God! It says that, so much about her. Isn't that something about yes. you know? It, and it's unexpected. But she said, "I bring gifts to people." She wanted to bring me a gift. At and four years old. Four years. And here's this beautiful pink rose that she wanted to give to me. Totally delightful. You know. And wow. so I have experiences like this on a daily basis. And one of one of my neat things, I never know. Who might be next? And who in that line is just going to be light up my day? Yeah. And that's the thing that's so wonderful. Now, also, I have children of all ages come to see me. The youngest is five days. And she is now this, this bouncy adolescent, comes in with her siblings. And there was a lady who was 97 years of age, had never had a photo with Santa. No way. She was wonderful. You know, we talked and we talked. And she wanted to sit on my lap and have a photo with Santa. Oh, how adorable. And so it, it, I realized that there's a child in all of us. Totally. And when they come in, there's a spark that comes into them and this this look. And I, I know I'm, I'm reaching the child in them. Oh, I don't know why I'm getting so emotional. Are you getting emotional too, Sean? Why are we? Are you, Lauren's getting emotional. <laughs> We're all getting emotional. Nick, you better start crying or I'm going <laughs> to be mad at you. Oh, my God. But you know what? It is so special. Like, I get super excited to come see you at the Grove and take pictures with my family. We just, we all have that spirit inside of us. This is true. And when this lady was 97 years of age. Oh, that just makes me so smile. And the child came out in her. And she had never had a photo. You know, her growing up and stuff, they weren't, they didn't have the ability to do that. Yeah. And the wherewithal to do it. And so she finally did it. 
Wow. You know, and she, and she waited in a list. line for hours, I'm sure, because oh. it takes a long time to meet with Santa. Maria, that's, you have to have endurance. That's the one thing. Is, <laughs> oh, there's several thousand people per day that want to come see me. And we, you know, Santa has to keep up with, with the times. Mm-hmm. So we now have a computer system. It's all connected. They come in. We put their name in their email address. And we notify them when they come get in the line. And we have these little cute little cue cards. When I was younger, we had a Polaroid camera, mm-hmm. and we thought that was high tech. Of course. Well, now it, we have DVD, we have a camera, it's all computer, it goes to the back. You can receive things anywhere in the world. Oh, I have been on FaceTime, if you can believe that. People FaceTime? People with have you? come in. You know, I, I learn things all the time. And there's this young boy on, on a cell phone. He was in Columbia, South America. His brother was sitting on my lap, and we were FaceTiming. Aww. And I was able to be with him. He was with his brother through this, this miracle wonder of electronics. Do you ever get emotional? Me? There's yeah. a tissue box. Really? There, there's times. I just, could, we, could we just wait a minute? And I, the elves come over with a tissue, and I have to kind of dab my eyes. What's made you the most emotional? Do you have any stories? Oh, There's some. Now, this won't be the, the jolly things, but there was a young girl came in, and they asked if they could come in special before the crowds get there. Uh-huh. And she's a cancer patient. Uh. She's 10 years of age. Now, I'm going to ask you for tissue. Gonna say. I know. I might need them, too. Okay, <laughs> Lauren, so, where are the tissues? Yeah, Nick, yeah. Uh, I held her as a baby, a little baby. And I've seen her every year for 10 years. Aww. And she came in, and she's, she's in cancer treatment, and, you know, she has a very short hair yeah. and everything. And I saw her mother with these tears in her eyes as this young girl sitting with me. And what amazed me, with all that she's gone through and all she's experienced, she's happy. She's all yeah. excited about her Christmas gifts. She's living in the moment. Yep. You know, and I'm sitting here going, wow, you know, the courage, the bravery. And... I, when I, I hug the children when they leave mm-hmm. and just let them know I love them. And as a hugged her, I wasn't sure, now I'm going to need the tissues now, if I get to hug her next year or not. Yeah. And I've seen her for 10 years. I've watched her grow up. And I can only imagine, you know, what her mother is experiencing. Ah. Uh. Now we may all need tissues. Uh. <laughs> this one. You know, yeah. and, and the thing is, is you never know if the mom's looking at you like, maybe she's not doing as well. And you're yes. getting cues from the mom like... Yes. You know, I, I've worked at Children's Hospital for years, and so you get yes. those cues from the moms, like, and they're telling you so much with their eyes. Yes. And then you're just like, so um, hopefully you get to see her for another 80 years. Yes. Hopefully she's the 97-year-old sitting on your lap <laughs> in the future um, because um, there's cancer is just so brutal. And it you never know. Right? Yeah. You, you never know who, when, how. Yeah. And I have, there was a young boy that, he was in line, he had on a top hat, just like Lincoln used to wear, mm-hmm. and I could tell from his coloration that he was in cancer treatment, and he was kind of quiet sitting by me, you know, wasn't, wasn't showing much emotion, and his uncle said, oh, Tom, would you like to trade hats with Santa? So I took off my hat, put uh-huh. it on him, I put on his top hat, the smile, Aww. the gleam, it just, it burst out, you know? <laughs> and so to be able to touch someone like that. Yeah. Like I said, the Isn't that suit, amazing? there's magic with a the suit. Man. There's it, magic. And I, I never know. I just, it, so every day, all the time, I never know who's going to come forth, who's mm-hmm. going to bless me with their presence. I never know what they're going to share with me. And yes, I, I have a big supply of tissue. <laughs> I imagine, you know, it's a, it's an emotional time for people, good and bad. Um, yes. And, uh, you know, let's get to the funny stuff so we can get off of some of the crying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we, yeah. Like when, when <laughs> big people want to come sit on your lap, right? Like Sean's a wrestler. Like if he comes and wants to sit on your lap, are you going to be like, dude, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, because Sean going to have this look in his eye when he says, can I sit on your lap? And, you know, they're not quite sure. Now, as you mentioned, I have this special chair. Uh-huh. It's reinforced so that. The, the fuller sized children, the you know six foot eight, <laughs> two <laughs> two something, can sit on my lap. Now I do have some special visitors, who are very very full size, uh-huh. and I sit on their lap. 
So we reverse it a little it. bit. Stop it. Stop it. I do. So if LeBron James came to the Grove and mm-hmm. wanted to sit on your lap, you'd be like, no, 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 let me sit on yours. Well, I'd let him. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> I, I would let him. I, I could hold him. But I'm looking, you know, here, and he's, you know, a, a bit above me. Uh-huh. So it, and I'd say, could we do a special photo? <laughs> would you be willing to reverse it? I need to see some of these. That's amazing. Well, you may know a young man. He, he works for Mario and set director or something with sound, oh, whatever. He, Rob Dorn? Very. Yeah, big guy. Well, I, I wasn't going to mention names. Yeah. Because he, he's, he's, I hope no one can see my hand. He's a full, <laughs> he's a full size He's a very large man, person. yes. And he comes and sees me each year. We do two photos. I sit beside him because uh-huh. he, he doesn't want to sit on my lap. And I sit on his lap. <laughs> mm-hmm. So he has this series of photos, and I'm sitting on his lap. I love it. So I, I'm creative. We, we do things. So, Nick, if you want to come by, we can do both. You can sit yeah. on his lap, and yes. you can sit, have him sit on yours. Which would you prefer? Oh, I'd sit on Santa's lap. <laughs> That'd be yeah. great. Now, I'm you got to be careful, though, because I have a real bony ass. So my, my <laughs> ass bone will dig right into your... <laughs> God. Dig right into your thigh. Build my coffee everywhere. <laughs> oh my god! Has that ever happened? Before? Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, That's Maria. Coffee everywhere. Now, Maria, as I mentioned, I never know what to expect. Right. <laughs> but so, you love what you do. I do, and as I mentioned before, you know the house is open for 14 hours a day these last two weeks. Mm-hmm. But I have so many special people come in that they lift me up. Yeah. And there are some people that come through that when they leave, I literally feel like I've been blessed. Aww. And we have some special needs people come through. And Maria, have you ever been hugged by a group yes. with total unconditional love? Yeah. 100%. <laughs> and laughter best. and smiles and bubbly. It's everything. And you're just, you're melted. Yep. And you say, okay, I can do this for another 40 hours yep. this day. And so I have that all day long. But you and probably I, I, get some of the brats, too, let's be honest. There's probably some unruly, they're, bratty, yes. spoiled, entitled. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, there's also... Do you try to teach them the ways, Santa? There's, there's categories. <laughs> and I, I try to tell parents, because I hold little babies, mm-hmm. you know, the first year. And, oh, we get along great. And the next year they come back, they see me, and it's, all you see is hands, feet, and crying. Yeah. So I've been letting parents know that about 14 months to three years... I can be kind of scary. Yeah. And so I invite them to come by and just say hi and visit a few times so I become familiar. So there are some who are really afraid of me. Mm -hmm. Then there are some who, for whatever the reasons, they're determined they don't want to do this because mom and dad want them to have a photo with Santa. And it is interesting to see what a two- or three-year-old child can do to grown adults. I'm sure. And there's times I wish I had a video camera behind me to watch what grown adults are willing to do to get a child to smile. <laughs> um, right. it's well, probably like what I was doing yeah. with my dogs. I was behind the camera, like, ah, yeah. making Squeaky all toys. kinds of noise yeah. to get them to look and smile. It, yeah. it, I'm, I'm sure they wouldn't want you to show it, but there's times I have to stop laughing <laughs> because this, this adult over there is doing some very unique things, and this child's sitting there. No movement of their face whatsoever. Yeah. I thought, how can you not? But be- sometimes those are the funniest. I came in yes. when we were um, doing the show extra from mm-hmm. the Grove. I remember I came in with my staff at one point, and we all did poses where we were sad and angry, <laughs> and it was the funniest picture ever. So sometimes when the kid is, you know, throwing a temper tantrum or whatever, those are the funniest pictures. I'm actually in a. It's a book. I think weirdest or funniest family photos Uh and i'm holding two two twins and they are both just screaming you know all i said hands legs feet everywhere's in disarray and i used to feel guilty smiling when these kids are in terror so i now cry with them i said oh they'll think we're all crying so brilliant so they think that we're staging it and another thing i did as for the children who, some comes kids are really nervous taking a photograph. Mm-hmm. They don't know quite what to do, and they're tense. I started doing the funny face photo. Now, ask them if they, if they have a really good funny face or silly face. That let's do a silly face on the count of three, and I'll do one with them. It cracks them up. It cracks up the parents. It, they get you know, much more relaxed. They get to laughing, smiling. And when I first thought about it, I thought, oh, I'm going to be in trouble with these parents when they 
see these kids, <laughs> you know, doing these strange faces. And it was wonderful what happened. It relaxed everybody. Yeah. You know, the parents got to smiling and laughing. And I thought, okay, I'm not in trouble. Yeah. And because some parents are very serious. They want, you know, the child to sit just right and the smile just oh, they right. they want everything perfect. Oh, yeah. oh, have you ever seen someone? I should. Grandmothers want their grandchildren to look, you know, dress perfect, mm -hmm. you know, new shoes, every hair, just so-so, Yep. you know, and I, I was scared to death to do a funny face for that child. <laughs> I thought, grandmother's going to put me on her naughty list for sure. <laughs> do I do this? Santa can never be in trouble. Oh, I told you I have a sense of humor, so sometimes, you know, I wonder. Well, I think you you do a marvelous job, and you bring so much joy to so many people, and I know you have to go continue on your mission at the Grove. You're going there right now, right? I'm headed there now. Now, I, I was going to tell you what was special about this year, this Christmas. I get to meet you, talk with you, because you know when I deliver you presents at Christmas, yes. you're sound asleep. I know. I'm snoring. I got my mouth guard yes. on, my zit cream on, <laughs> as evidence of my but, Instagram last but, night. I mean... You don't want to see me anyway. <laughs> but now I get to <laughs> Do you like the tiropita you? that I leave for you? Because I don't leave cookies. Yes. I'm Greek. I leave cheese pies. Yes. Have you enjoyed those? Well, I, I like the variety because, you know, children are very kind around the world. They leave yes. me cookies and cookies and cookies. You know, you wonder why I, I can I keep my shape. Yeah. Well, you know, several million children leaving you cookies. So the variety. Perfect. I appreciate that. Now, see? if Thank you wouldn't you. mind, a napkin. Okay. You notice the mustache. So, yes, I do uh, forget the napkin. Yes, You're right. If if you wouldn't mind adding that, okay, that helps. I will. I will add that. Um, gladly, guys. If you want to see Santa, you can visit him at the Grove in Los Angeles now through December twenty third. Because obviously, you have duties on the twenty fourth. Oh, you have busy. to prepare yes. for. Uh, from nine a.m. to eleven p.m. God bless you. That is a oh, long you. Oh, day. My God. <laughs> and on Christmas Eve, from eight a.m. to six p.m. Because right after that, he's gonna get off with the reindeer and make sure. He delivers all the gifts to the world. Check him out before he has to get on his sleigh and deliver all those presents to the world's children. More info at thegrovela.com under Santa's Hours. Um, in this little break, my mom has brought the dog, so we're going to bring in all of my babies to say hello. Uh, guys, we'll be right back uh, with Kelly Fremont Craig, Craig, the director of The Edge of 17. I'm so excited to have her in studio. You guys are going to love this.